Hi everyone, we're back for a tutorial today. We're going to do a math tutorial to discuss function evaluation. So function evaluation is something that can be really hard for people. So let's just do an example. So okay. say we have f of x equals 2x plus 4. Okay, so this is a function. And basically, um, when you plug in a number here for x, you have to put it here as well. So if someone writes, say someone writes this down, f of 1. So what does this even mean? It means that they want you to evaluate the function at one. So what does this function do? Let's think about it. It takes x, multiplies it by two, and adds four. So all you do for this is they basically want you to put the one where the x is. So you just write everything down. So two, and then instead of x, you write one. So you can put a times and a one like this if you want, or you can put a parentheses. There's really a parentheses here, but you don't have to write it, okay? And then plus four. But then you have to go to the next line. So you do equals, okay? And then two times one is two, and then you still have the four. So then you do equals, and then two plus four is six. So the answer is six. So you can write f of one every time if you want. You can do this, and that's it. So f of one is equal to six. That's the answer. The answer is six. So the answer is six. So when you plug in 1, you get 6. So let's say we plug in 2. I'll do it faster this time. So it's 2 times 2 plus 4. Notice how I put the parentheses there? Because if you don't put it, it's going to look weird. Look. That looks like 22, right? Right. So you have to put the parentheses there to make it not ambiguous. Um, so 2 times 2 is 4. And then 4 plus 4 is 8. Notice how I always write an equals after each step, right? It's very organized. Let's do 3. And then you're going to try one after this. So 2 times 3 plus 4. 2 times 3 is 6. So you have 6 plus 4. Notice I'm doing it in one line this time. 6 plus 4 is 10. That's a little bit easier, right? One line like that. You see that? Yeah. So you think you can do one now? You ready? Any questions? No. Okay. Okay. I'll you ready? Try. You'll try? All right. Yeah, so here we go. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. We'll just ignore the haters. So let's see. So 3x plus 2. Let's start off easy. So I want you to find f of 1 or evaluate f of 1 or evaluate f at 1. So go ahead. It's all you. Yes! Okay, then what do you do next? Yes, the equals. Very good. What's 3 times 1? What is it? Go ahead. No! No, 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 no! All right, let's try that again. So what is three times one? <laughs> it's three times three. Three. Good, good. What do you write next? The two, right? And then equals. Good. And then what's three plus two? Five. Five. Very good. Good, you got it, the answer is five. Good, good. All right, so now, now let's do f of two. Let's try to do that, really basic, really basic. And that's how you start, right? Basic function evaluation. Times two, good, and plus two. Look how you're faster now, right? It's always that first problem that's harder. Oh, what's three times two? What's three times two? Three times two. Three times two. What is three? Six. Six. <laughs> two. Eight. That's it. All right. You want to do a harder one now? Let's raise the bar because you have to do harder stuff after that. So let's do this one here. Let's do a different, different example. Um, so let's do negative 2x plus 4. Now remember, when you multiply negative times a positive, it's negative. So like negative two times three is negative six, right? Negative two times four is negative eight, okay? So let's do f of one. Can you do this one? You want me to do it? Do you want me to do it? Okay. So for this example, we first replace the x with one, so it'll be negative two times one plus four. Negative two times one is negative two, and then plus four. And you have negative two plus four, it's gonna give us two. Right, because it's really, it's really, it's really like four minus two. 
Yeah, but it's not negative two. No, because this one's bigger. It's positive. Oh, okay. Right. So, because yeah, it's really negative two plus four is you have four, and then you're taking away two, so you're left with two. Okay. Okay. So now I want you to try f of two. Good. Right, good, good. So what's negative two times two? Well, what's two times two? What's two times two? No, what's two times two? Four. Right, <laughs> and then it's negative, you're getting nervous, don't get nervous, and then plus four. And then what happens when you add negative four plus four? What are you left with? What's, what's left? Zero. 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 Don't look at me for the answer. <laughs> this is on film. They're going to know you're cheating, so the answer is zero. All right, let's try another one. So that's your answer. Sorry. Okay. All right. F of three. All right. Go ahead. Yep. Good, good, good. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. Negative six plus four. Sorry. Go, go ahead. I didn't mean to distract you. Go ahead. You got it. You got this. No, that's wrong. You have failed the class. <laughs> no. Negative six plus four. Nope. It's completely wrong. Nope. Mm -mm. It's wrong. Why are you wrong? It's wrong. It's wrong. Why are you wrong? You have negative six and you're adding four. You're just left with oh. like negative... Two. Oh, okay, you have to. Oh, right. Does it make okay. sense? Yeah, because it's, this is bigger. Okay. Right, right. Oh, we got to do another one now. <laughs> f of four. Let's do f of four. And the original question, so people can see it, the original function was f of x equals negative two x plus this. four. Yeah, it's okay. It's right. So bad. You'll get better. You'll get better. If you can do it, anyone can do it, right? So. What are you doing? I made you nervous. No, no, no. It's all right. Good, good. So what's negative two times four? Good, plus four, you got this. And then when you add these, what are you gonna get? Negative eight plus four is, what is it, Don't, I'm not gonna say anything. No, write, write down what you think it is. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Do you think that's right? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. How do you know it's right? Because this is uh, subtract to so because this is bigger. It's bigger right? and it's yeah. negative. Exactly. It's bigger and it's negative, so it kind of like eats this. Exactly. Yeah. So it's correct. Good. You were right. Good. Good. It's giving you a hard time. Good. I think that's pretty good. Um, do you want to do one more? Do a couple more or no? Let's do a couple more. Let's do something a little bit. Well, no, I think that's good. That's good. Let's, let's mix it up and we'll do something different. But yeah. Subscribe, like, share. Check out my courses and books. Take care.